In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do sh keyframes in the video editor shotcut. Hello everyone, I am Budget Recording, and on this channel I try and help make your video look better and audio sound better in videos such as these. In this one, as I just mentioned, I'm going to be showing you how to do keyframes in the vi video editor shotcut. Keyframes, if you don't know, is a way that you can adjust how a parameter changes in a filter, in this case, through time. So what you can do is uh, make it a clip slowly uh, turn from like a red hue to a blue hue. Just like I've done here. So that's a very extreme example of what you can do with keyframes. And it's also of a very terrible terribly taken picture, but it gets the point across of what you can do with keyframes. A good example of what you could do with this is like if your white balance on your camera shifted and you didn't want it to, you could keyframe it to keep it from adjusting quite so noticeably. All I did there is I clicked this keyframe button. Not all effects or filters have this in shotcut. Um, for example, like the contrast has one. Uh, the wavelet, which is like noise reduction, does not have it though, and nor does the hue lightness saturation. The only way you could do that is by going frame by frame and adjusting the filter for each frame, but I'm not going to show you that because I don't feel like making that video yet. But if you want me to, then I might. So I'm going to just show you how to make this go from black to way overexposed. Kind of going to be like a fade to black sort of thing, except slightly different, I think. Um, so I'm just going to reset my keyframes, which you do by just clicking this little stopwatch button and it will warn you just to make sure you don't do it on accident. I'm okay with that though. And so now keyframes are back to normal. Uh, and uh, that's just, now it's always magenta. So I'm going to reset the parameter as well. Now I'm going to go just like to there. That's uh, about a second in just under and click the keyframe button and that automatically adds a keyframe there for you wherever the playhead is and so I'm going to make this keyframe start out black uh, if I don't move my mouse too quickly so now it's about black it's not white. No, it's not white. and as you can see it's currently affected the entire clip because there's no other keyframes adjusting it so if I go to like the very end and click up to the very top, now you can see it's black here and then it's brighter there, brighter still. And so this is just showing you what the keyframe looks like. Uh, if And you can always add more parameters in the middle. If you see me scrubbing along, you can also see on the parameter itself that it's moving. So you may have noticed there are also some buttons over here. Uh, these, uh, this is for like filter starting and ending. And then this says it's setting first, the first simple keyframe and the second simple keyframe. I'm not sure what that does. I was not able to get it to do anything. So I would not honestly worry about it, but the filter start and end, if I put the start there and then the end there. I, you can see there's no filter and then it will get super dark and then it'll lighten up and then it'll just go away. So what that's doing is it's just removing the filter from taking effect. It's about the same as having a split right here and then just having a separate uh, filter set up for it. Uh, so it just makes it so you don't need nearly as many keyframes. That is... About all there is to keyframes and shotcut. If you want to see more shotcut tutorials, there is a playlist linked in the top left of your screen. But anyways, that is the tutorial. I am Budget Recording. Make sure you subscribe and smash the like button. I will see you next time.